because we're still in Easter. Hallelujah. Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I reckon we can do that louder than that, don't you? Hallelujah. Christ is risen. Let's pray. <coughs> Loving Lord, we gather here and in this moment to worship you. We come as we are, young and not so young, happy, sad, worried, carefree, full of faith or maybe struggling a bit. And we know that here in this place we will meet with you and you will meet with us. Risen Lord, together, may we discover more of you and experience your presence, not only in our worship, but through our lives, throughout our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So we're going to sing, See What a Morning, so a lovely Easter hymn. <laughs> So as we go on with our service, we come to a time when we say sorry for all the wrong things that we've done. So take a moment to think back over the last few days. Because we've all got things wrong, I'm sure. I can think of things that I should have done that I haven't, or that I should have said, or I shouldn't have said. And... There's always something we've not got quite right. So let's bring all these things to God now. <coughs> God, our Father, we come to you in sorrow for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. 
for behaving just as we wish without thinking of you. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For failing you by what we do and think and say. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptations in the world about us. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For living as if we were ashamed to belong to your son. Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. And may the God of love bring us back to himself. Forgive us our sins and assure us of his eternal love in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, Andy is going to come and read to us from John chapter 20. the gospel. Pardon? That way? All right. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the disciples were together with the doors locked for fear of the Jewish leaders, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone's sin, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Thomas, also known as Didymus, one of the twelve was not with the disciples when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. A week later, his disciples were in the room in the house again, and Thomas was with them, though the doors were locked. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas said to him, My Lord, my God. And Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Jesus performed many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God, and that you are believe and that you by believing you may have life in his name. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Thank you, Andy. By the way, is anyone else chilly here? Yes. Could somebody go and close the door, please? We've got a door open. Thank you, Jane. That's great. I was just thinking, I'm getting really chilly. I'm sure other people are as well. <laughs> that gospel reading is one that we have every year. Um, and it's something that we're going to pick up and think about as we go through the rest of the service. But before Steve comes and... He's going to talk to us, but you're going to do some stuff as well. We're going to sing. Alleluia, alleluia. Let's sing together. <laughs>
one of the first songs or choruses, as we used to call them in their day, uh, that I ever sang in St. John's. That one. Um, those of you who are sitting on the wall over here, could you join a table for us, please, so that we can play a game? Okay. If you would like to. You don't have to. It's just if you'd like to. But we've got two games coming up. So keep remembering the reading first. That's coming later, right? But, sec but the thing we're going to do is we're going to call it Roller Coaster Ride, right? Now, s you'll find on your table a big piece of paper like this. Ooh, that's stuck with post-it notes, right? Now, the most artistic person on the table, <coughs> can you draw... Can you draw a kind of roller coaster line along it, ending high and starting high? But then you can put as many dips in it as you want. Okay. All done? That's not the game. <laughs> You've got more to do. Right, now you've all got post-it notes. Some small, some large. Right? Now I want you to think back over the last two weeks about the Easter story. And right at the beginning, here, at the high point, okay, you can put a post-it note on there saying Palm Sunday. Because that was, remember, all waving palms, all very happy, joyful. Yes? Okay. You can, no, you, can, you can write it on there. You can use the post-it note and stick it on there. It's up to you. Right? Because this, this is for all of you to see if you can think and remember things. So that's, that's the beginning. Now think about all those things that happened in East, uh, during the week up to Easter and then over Easter and into the week after that. And try to make a timeline along there. The sad, bad things in the low bits and the more joyful things in the high bits. Okay? Ready? Steady? Go. If you don't understand, don't, don't worry. Shout and I'll, I'll try and uh, help you. Underway here, aren't you? Possibly, yeah. It's a timeline, yes. So, so we got to remember that we're a week after Easter here. Um, just, just to explain that at the right end of your timeline should be what's happening today. So that was Thomas being, being able to see Jesus who was resurrected. Yes? So that's the good thing and that will happen, that will be today's one. So from Palm Sunday through to today. There's a table down here are being very arty and they're writing it in symbols.
going to hurry you up now and say we've got about another two minutes. Half a minute now. Okay, how are you, how are we then? Are we almost there? Yes? Right, we do a little show and tell now. Now it might be as well for those people who are at home, welcome everyone at home. If you come to the front, nominate a leader and bring them to the front so we can kind of see. <laughs> nah, that's all right, Bethany, I will let you off. If you'd like to bring your contribution to the front so that we can show everyone else. over here. What do we got? We are almost there, aren't we? Uh, someone else with an extension coming, Andy, so don't feel very sad. You, you did well. Now you're all right. Is that everybody? <laughs> wow, done. The extension on the end there. Lovely. So you can kind of see that there were so many events, sometimes we had to extend a little bit to fit them all in. There were so many things going on. Palm Sunday down to that, you know, Maundy Thursday and the trial of Jesus. And I think everyone's got roughly the same sort of things in. Then the death of Jesus on the cross is right down the bottom. And then, Aye. what, you haven't got any of those? No, no, we put, we put it at the oh, top. You got it at the top. Because he actually died for all our sins. Yeah. Oh. I was going good, good to work, mention lads. that. Good yeah. yeah. Should we give him a, <laughs> we'll give him a brownie point for that, shall we? And that, see, same, same again, yes. Uh, he rose again, yes. So, yeah, oh, my Lord, my God. Oh, yeah, this is very artistic. I spent extra point there for arti artisticness. It wasn't all me. It wasn't all me. No. We got a bit behind. So, there you are, John. You're, you're, um, uh, you've been noticed, all right. I know you need to be noticed. Oh, yeah, you got loads on that one. That, that one needed, needed an extension on the extension, that one did. And great one over there as well. Brilliant. Thank you, guys. No, no, there's no winners. No winners. There's no winners in that one. There's no winners in that one, but there is a winner in the next one. Right. I don't know what you win. Maybe another cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, so the next one is called the Bible Pub Quiz. Okay, you've got a small piece of paper on your table. And hopefully you've got a pen that's good enough to write an answer down. Okay, now we're going to look at, remember I said remember the reading. Right, we're going to look at that reading and we're going to do a pub quiz on that reading, see how much you remember, Okay. So question one, don't shout them out, write them down. 
Question one. What day of the week did all these things that we read about today take place? There's two answers you could have. No, just one will do. If you get a second one, we might give you a bonus point. Who knows? Okay, question two. What was the first phrase Jesus said to his disciples? Well, you've got Ephne there as well, haven't you? <laughs> What did Jesus show them? There's two answers to that one as well. If you get both, you get two points. Question four. How did the disciples feel? Yes, all good? Everyone keeping up? All good? Question five. Jesus said, as the Father sent me, I am sending you. Then he did something rather strange before saying, receive the Holy Spirit. What was it? And is an obvious one. Who is missing in the first scene? Say again. Yes. Question six, right, is who was missing in the first scene, right? Of the disciples, that is. Who was missing? Say again. Question before that was, Jesus said... Uh, this is question five, just, just repeating it for someone here. Que um, Jesus said, as the Father sent me, I am sending you. Then he did something rather strange before saying, receive the Holy Spirit. What was it? <laughs> question seven. What was Thomas's other name? Question eight, what did the disciples say to Thomas? Uh, yeah, what did the disciples say to Thomas? Yeah, good. Everyone got that? Question nine, what did Thomas want to do to prove Jesus was alive? Question 10. There's only 12. Don't worry, we're nearly there. How much longer was it before Jesus appeared to them, including Thomas? I saw that too. <laughs> Question 11. What did Thomas say when Jesus appeared and told him to put his fingers in the nail marks and on his side, and, oh, in, and his hand on his side? What did they say? And question 12. Oh, sorry, I'll slow down. I'm... What did Jesus say that all of us who haven't seen him 
and still believe, and yet still believe are. He said something about us. Okay, that's the questions. Now we come to the answers. Okay. First of all, honesty question. Who looked at the answers? <laughs> okay. On what day of the week did, the read, did this reading take place? Say again? First day of the week. Thank you. I thought someone said Thursday then. I thought, whew. It was... Uh, well, it would be on the Jewish calendar, so that would be Sunday. Um, what was the first phrase Jesus said? Peace be with you. Well done. Or shalom, probably. Salami even, yes. Probably not. Um, number three, what did Jesus show them? His hands and his side. How did the disciples feel? Number four. Overjoyed, yes. <laughs> Question five. Jesus said, as the Father sent me, I am sending you. Then he did something rather strange before saying, receive the Holy Spirit. What was it? He breathed on them. I hope he hadn't had garlic. <laughs> he breathed on them. Question six. Who was missing in that first scene? Thomas? Yes. If we're being absolutely, you know, Judas wasn't there either, because Judas had betrayed Jesus. He was one of the disciples, but he wasn't going to ever be there. Um, uh, what was Thomas, this is number seven, what was Thomas's other name? Didymus. Yes. Twin. <laughs> Didymus, yes. That's a short mouse, isn't it? <laughs> Question eight. What did the disciples say to Thomas? We've seen the Lord, yes. What did Thomas want to do to prove Jesus was alive? The yep. Put my fingers where the nail marks are, and put my hand in his side, where he'd been stabbed. Uh, question 10. How long, before, uh, how long was it before Jesus appeared to them again? When they were all there. One week. Question 11. What did Thomas say when Jesus appeared and told him, to put his fingers in the nail marks and on his side, hand on his side. My Lord and my God. And question 12, what did Jesus say that all of us who haven't seen him and yet still believe, uh, what did he say we are? Blessed. blessed, that's right, blessed. Do you feel blessed? Well, you should be. You should feel blessed because you are blessed. So let's have a quick check of the answers, right? Who got all 12 right? 11? Right. 10? No, no 10. 9? Any less than 9? Yeah, what did you get? 6, right? Okay. No. We had, we had about three or four groups who got the whole lot right. But then they did cheat, most of them, because they looked. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and the only one of all of them that put his hand up first was Andy, who said he had cheated. So should we give him a bonus point for that one? And that, that means he won. Or they won. <laughs> Haven't got a prize. Go and get yourself another cup of coffee. <clears throat> Oh. Yes. So let's just quickly have a pray, and then it's over to uh, where it was.
sing again. Yes. Oh, no, we got the creed first. That's all right. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this story that completes the Easter story. When your disciples eventually were all together and saw you alive. Not a ghost, but alive. Thank you for Thomas, who though he did doubt, also said, my Lord and my God. And thank you, Lord, that you call us blessed and bless us daily because we put our trust in you. In Jesus' name, amen. So we're going to say together the creed. I'm going to stand to one side so that you can see the screen. Am I out of your way there? Yes. We say together the creed. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, source of all being and life, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? Do you believe and trust in God, the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of God and makes Christ known in the world? We believe and trust in him. Well, I think you've all worked hard. Shall we sing again? I was the last bit. Oh, have I not finished? No. Oh, I've missed it off the end here. Let me grab me a bit of paper. Here we are. Right. Right, let's say together then. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe, we believe and trust in one God. God. Sorry, Son and Holy Spirit. Sorry about that. All right. <laughs> I uh, was writing this down really quickly yesterday because we were just back from holiday and uh, missed that bit off the end. Sorry about that. So let's sing again, shall we? All heaven declares. We're going to move into a time of prayer now. So let me just borrow this. When we were doing our roller coaster, there's lots of ups and downs. There's good things and bad things that happen. And the disciples would have gone through a whole range of feelings as they went through this time. And on ours, we put the whole time from Palm Sunday to when Thomas declared that uh, Jesus was my Lord and my God. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, dear. Well, um, <coughs> my hay views are really playing up at the moment. Uh, anyway, they would have gone through a whole range of emotions. So we're going to sort of tap into some of the emotions that they might have felt during that time. Now, on your tables, you should have a pile of different colours of paper. 
I'll drop in a lot. And uh, we're going to use these different colours. Can you put that's it? Brilliant. So, well, thank you very much, Flora. <laughs> You've got some blue paper. And they think about the things that make us fearful because the disciples were really afraid at this time. Remember at the beginning of our story, they were meeting behind locked doors because they were frightened. They had arrested Jesus. They'd taken him off. They had killed him in the most cruel way possible. And even though some of them said that he'd risen from the dead, they were still terrified. Were the authorities going to come after them? So they were very afraid. So on the blue paper, I would like you to write prayers. Now, it could just be a name. It could be a situation, something. Either things you're afraid of or you, situations where you know people are fearful, that people you know or people in the world generally can think of Ukraine maybe. There must be loads of fearful people there. So write on the blue paper things that places where people are fearful. And we go to the green. So you've got some green paper. On the green paper, doubts. Thomas doubted for a whole week. It must have been really, really hard for him when everyone else is saying, we've seen Jesus, he's alive. I'm really rejoicing. And Thomas wasn't there. He missed out on it. He must have been so doubtful, wanting to believe, but it was too good to be true. So bring your doubts to God and write on their situations where people might be doubtful. They don't know what's going to happen. Very tied into fear often, doubt. So doubts, put your doubts down on that one. Where are we next? Red one. Lost hope. You can imagine what the disciples felt when Jesus was crucified, his body taken down, put in the tomb. All their hopes would have gone completely. And Thomas lived with that for an extra week. Didn't dare hope that what the others were saying were true. So your lost hopes or places, people who have lost hope. So write that down. Your prayers for them. And finally, thankful. The disciples must have been so thankful and rejoicing at the end. So put on there prayers of thanks. What has God done for you in the last week or so? Thanks for things that happened in the world. Just write them down. Prayers. Use as many pieces as you've got. <laughs> the, the, the paper is fairly evenly spread. If you find yourself wanting some more, go and raid another table. Um, and I'll give you a few minutes, and then we'll collect them all together and pray together.
How are you doing? Get some. Uh, you finished? I'm going to come and collect the prayers. Brilliant. Well done. Get some. I'll come back. You have a delivery method. I think. <laughs> yeah. Can we can we leave that bit behind, please? <laughs> is that is that all of them? <laughs> I know. You, you, you can never keep control of him, can you? It's dreadful. It's like this in junior church too. <laughs> it's quite so. So, so. Well, got some good prayers here. Lots of them. Fantastic. There we go. Let's collect them. Brilliant. How are we doing? Lovely. Great. Who was it? Who was still writing? Great. I love this. I can use some of this paper again. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you very much. We have a basket full of prayers here. And I'm sure they cover all sorts of people, all sorts of places. And these are the prayers that we're going to bring to God now. Let's get my notebook because I wrote it down. Let's pray together, shall we? Lord Jesus, we bring you our doubts, our fears, and the people of places we've lost hope for. We thank you for the prayers you have answered, and we ask that you will help us to keep on praying, especially for prayers that we struggle with. Amen. And we're going to draw our prayers to a close by saying together the prayer that Jesus taught us. So let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So we come to our final hymn, Thine Be the Glory.
Because before I've been seen, just uh, to let you know, there's lots more coffee available if you still want to sit and have a natter afterwards. Uh, we leave all the tables for you, so you can sit around the tables and you can move around. It's up to you. So the blessing. God the Father, by whose Son Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, by whose love Jesus Christ was raised from the dead, open to you who believe, uh, who believe the gates of everlasting life. Amen. Amen. God the Son, who in bursting the grave has won a glorious victory, give you joy as you share the Easter faith. God the Holy Spirit, whom the Father, uh, whom the risen Lord breathed into his disciples, empower you and fill you with Christ's peace. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God be with us all, now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace, in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you.